And now, from beyond our dimension, this is the Jeff Mara Podcast. Here's Jeff. My guest is Dominique Mukararenda from Rwanda, who during his near-death experience went to heaven and saw Jesus. Dominique, thank you for joining us and welcome. Thank you very much. So tell us what happened. How did you have the NDE? During my NDE, I was just in high school and uh, I could just get sick several times and get some medication from a health center nearby the school, but uh, they could not work. So after some time, uh, I, the sickness got worse. So the school uh, principal told me to go back home and maybe to use traditional medicines. Mm. When I went back home, I got to those traditional medicines, but they couldn't work. But instead, I could get sicker and sicker uh, to the point that they decided to take me to the hospital. When I arrived at the hospital, so that time, they tried the, their best doctors, but they could not diagnose any, any sickness from my body, in, in whatever part of the body. So I lied down there uh, some several days, but one, one day I just lost my consciousness. Then, I started to see visions. But the outside, people who were there, my parents or doctors or nurses, could do whatever they could, but I could, I, I could not get, get healed. So as days went on, the situation got worse. So till the time in the morning, I mean, in the evening, it was in the evening at 8 p.m. The doctor just declared me dead. Mm. Uh, people around me, even in the families in the villages, they heard about this sad news. They started to cry and prepare the burial place. So because it was the night, uh, I, rest, I, I stayed there overnight till the morning, whereby people around in the village came just to see crying tears over my dead body. But as they were crying, I could not hear them. But one of them, which was my aunt, came nearby. While she, gra she grabbed me with uh, emotions and whatever, for women, you know, uh, my arm just touched her. And she said, she declared, she said that, she cried out, the boy, the boy is not dead. But the doctor said, now nah, you, woman, you are foolish. Mm -hmm. We doctors know what happened, and you know what happens when someone dies. We know the man has just died, he's just dead. Uh, but he, the aunt said, no, I had him just touching my lip while I was holding him from the sick bed. They said, no, you are mad. Mm. In a very moment, instantly, when she called my name, I just opened my eyes. And I looked at everyone and the uh, she, she called out, she called the doctors and the nurses, you declared this man dead by come and see him. He's opening his eyes. Then I opened my eyes without even closing them. I opened them once for all without closing them. My eyes were widely open. When I opened my eyes, doctors and nurses, they ran away. They said, no, this is not possible. We have never seen this phenomenon in this hospital. We have never, never seen this. 
But in all the days I have spent there to, till that moment, I was somewhere they could not see, but I could. When I saw, I saw many things in the, it so many things. What was interesting is I went to heaven using a rudder. I used a rudder going into heaven. Then I met somebody who is coming from there descending. I was ascending, he was descending. Mm. I asked him, what happened? The man told me they had refused him to stay in heaven. He suggested to me, you get up, go to heaven, maybe you, you will be accepted. Okay, I went, reaching to heaven's gate, a man with several keys on his right hand asked me a question. Are you coming to heaven? I said, yes. He opened, I get in, then shut the gate. In heaven, I saw a very large garden with trees, uh, trees without any, any, any what, any, any problem or any um, formation or any, 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 I don't know what to call. Very straight, high, going straight. There is no tree in heaven that is not straight high. And uh, while I was entering the, the man at the gate told me, you turn on the other side. Can we stop one second? I lost you for a while. Can you start at the, at the garden? Can you start from where you saw this beautiful garden in heaven and the tree and stuff? The keys, many keys. Asked me a question if I'm coming to heaven. I said yes. And they said, okay. He closed the, the gate and just guided me to where Jesus was sitting in a kind of uh, office. When I went, I met, I met him. I sat down and he told me, he didn't say anything. He only opened the, like the cupboard of the office. And he stretched out a file, like a document. Document. He read everything. I mean, he read everything what I had done when I was on the earth. Everything. Uh, what is interesting here, when he reads for you, anything that you have done, you see yourself again doing it. There is no way to deny. You see yourself doing it. Then after reading all, he told me, your time to be here is not yet. Go back on the planet Earth. You will know what to do. And after you will be finishing it, then time will come back and live here eternally. I said, no. I have reached heaven now. I cannot just go back to the earth. I cannot. He said, yes, you need to go back. I said, no. He said, go back. I said, no. He said again, again and again, up to seven times while I was saying no. At the last time, seven, when he said, go back, I could not deny. There was no power to say no. Mm. No power to say no. The tongue uh, already had uh, the mind, the brain, all, all of them had accepted that I should go back. I said yes now to the last minute. Uh, but I asked him a request. I asked him, well, since I have come here to heaven, uh, allow me to go in uh, the heavens and I see the heavens then when I be moving around and see what is here, what is there, who are they, then I will come back and they go back again and they, and they go back on the planet. Yeah. He said, okay, you go, you are free to go. So I went there. When I reached 
That time I saw the gardens and the trees around there. Then I saw singers, the choir, the choir singing, singing without instruments. I was losing you when you were telling us about the choir. Uh, before the choir, the reason why I was in denying it to come back on the earth, I could see the earth when you are in heaven. You can see this planet very dirty, very dirty, dirtiness that you cannot imagine. The body is dirty, very dirty. You cannot imagine. So I could say no, but. But Jesus could say, okay, go back. I, I want you to go back and you will do something there. Now about the choir, when I was just walking around in, in, in heaven, I saw the choir. The first impression was I needed to join this choir, whatever. I needed to join this choir. I want just, I, 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 I pressed my steps towards the choir. And in the middle, before I reached the choir, there was a kind of force that stopped me from just joining the choir. I could push in, a certain power could just push me back, push in, push back, push in, push back, till I got very tired and I just fell down. Then I cried the tears in heaven and I said, now, why? why am I not allowed to join this choir that is singing without the music instruments? And their voices are much, much better, even the best, than the best singers that you have, whenever, you have ever seen here on this planet. It is a beautiful choir. And everyone, every that one is a man, that one is a woman. You cannot distinguish them. All you can see is just singing songs, singing, and they never get tired. I said I must join this choir, but since I couldn't just, I fell down, a certain power just pushed me back. Then I said, as long as I cannot join the choir, let me continue to move around again on the other corner. Once, I was just having that idea to, to move on the other side. Jesus came to me. Because I got lost in, in, in heaven, I could not just remind myself that I have to come back on the earth. I couldn't. It is beautiful. It is good. The choir is nice. People are nice. But he came and he touched me my, on my, uh, my right shoulder. My right shoulder, he came just from behind and touched my shoulder and said, have you forgotten that you need to go back on the planet? I said, uh, no, I have not forgotten. He said, now it is time to go. I walked the same way that, that brought me in, that's come back. When I reached the gate, the man with the keys asked me nothing. He only opened the gate. He knows that you are refused. He just opened the gate. Then I found myself out of heaven. The man shut the gate. Then I started just come, to come down by the same ladder. Before I reached the, the planet here, before I reached here, in the skies above, I met someone, someone similar to me. And uh, he told me, are you coming from heaven? I said, yes. I am denied to stay there. Uh, he told me, if we are denied to stay in heaven, don't let us just hang up and hang around in the skies and just continue to move around. Because the planet Earth is no good, it's dirty, and heaven has refused you. So let's stay around in the skies. I said, and I told him, no, heaven is good. Let me go that down. He told me that there is something I should do there. Then I finished to do it. I come back and just stay there and live with him. He insisted, and I insisted. I, 
I, I, I left him, I said, no, goodbye. Let me go down. Going down, that was the same time of coming back again to life. Because when I came back, that was the, the, at 7 a.m. Uh, after the night, I was, I was declared dead. God is, has mathematics and he knows the right time to do things. Every minute for him is counted. Every night, every day. There is nothing that he cannot just do. And his watch, you cannot know about it, but he knows. And he does everything perfect. So I came back after several days, as I told you before, like 14 days. I could do not eat. And some people said, when I share this and this, they say, how is it possible that a man can just spend like seven days, this is two weeks, without eating, without drinking? I said, it happened to me. God sustained me to show me the miraculous, to show me uh, what I would tell people. Because they told me, I will tell people that heaven exists so that whatever they do, whatever they do, heaven is there. If they believe or not, go and tell them what you have seen. Done. Have the people repent and they just come back to, to, to life eternal. But the body is nothing, nothing. We suffer, we hunger, we thirsty, we lack. We, we, we face wars and uh, massacres and wars or whatever. As you can see in the, uh, in in Ukraine and uh, and Russia, that the Western Europe, that, that that is nothing to him. That is nothing, but only to die in Jesus, die in God, die by God, knowing what purpose you have, you are here, and what you have, need to do here on the planet. Earth. That is the most important things. And they try to do good to people, try to good to do good everywhere, to love your children and your family, to let them know what is the truth and the purpose of the life here on this planet. So I came back to life again. Uh, I told you that I was skinny because of not eating, not drinking, very dry. I started to eat like a year of banana, uh, fish, they could just bring and give me like a, a, a newborn baby that is starting maybe to eat, a baby that is starting to eat. Then I came, I came slowly back. Then I, I could not think what happened, uh, the same experience. That time I was just in the Roman Catholic Church. I went there to say, to share, stick. they take away lives people. People's lives, they go. Now, if you have come back and you are here, you need to thank God, my son. But I could not be satisfied with the, with the explanation with the father and his instruction. Everyone I could tell, he could say, no, no, don't talk it about. Don't talk about it again. We had lost you, now you are alive. Don't continue as you talk about this. We thank God you are here. But I say there is something, there is something. There is something about your life. There is something about this planet here. Yeah. There is something about God. He said to me, he said, no, shut up, shut up. We don't want to hear you. As long as the sickness has just forgot that you are here. But I came back to life again. I spent some several years wondering, wondering what happened pondering about the words I have heard from Jesus, pondering about the beauty of heaven and the creatures, pondering about the choirs. Even now I love choirs, even those who are singing in the churches. I love them. When they sing, I remember the time. Some people maybe they, they sing, they don't know what they're doing. But for me, as for me, I do, I do know what is happening. So... That was the journey in the summary. I'm going to talk your NDE back to you and you tell me if it's correct, all right? Yes. 
You went to the principal, you were very sick, and he told you, go home and try traditional medicine, correct? Yeah, yeah. That didn't work, and then mm. you went to the hospital. All right, so you went back to the hospital, you died at 8 o'clock at night until yes. 7 in the morning, and at 7 in the morning, the nurses or your aunt was there, and your aunt saw you, and you... You came back to life and they were saying it's impossible and you and you came back alive. So almost 12 hours you were dead, correct? Yes. Yes. So, so while you were dead, you saw Jacob's ladder and you climbed the ladder to heaven. And on your way up to heaven, you saw some another spirit coming back down and he was refused from heaven. Is that correct? Yeah, when that speed uh, came back, it was just descending as I was ascending, and he, he suggested me um, to go to heaven because he also saw that the heaven is good, and unfortunately, he was refused to stay. He told me, maybe you will be accepted. Go up, and maybe you will be accepted. Then we separated at that moment. Right. And then when you got to heaven, there was a man at the gate of heaven with keys. And yes. He, and, and once you saw him, he had you go see, he directed you to go see Jesus. Correct? Yes. And when you, yes. Saw, when you saw Jesus, you went into a room and Jesus, mm. and Jesus had like a book or a file of your life. Is that correct? Yes. And yeah. he, he was reading, he was reading your life experiences, and as he would read them to you, you would re-experience them. Mm. And then, um, and then at some point, Jesus said, "Well, it's you can't stay. You have to go back." And you kept arguing with him and saying, "I want to stay," and he said, "No, you have to go back." Mm -hmm. So again and again. Yes, again and again, and then. Uh, finally, you agreed, but before you went back, you looked around heaven and you saw the most amazing choir and the best singers that you've ever seen. Never seen before. Yeah, and then um, at that point, Jesus found you and asked you, uh, did you forget to go back? And you said no. And then um, eventually you decided you went back down the ladder and on your way down the ladder, you met another person that was, um, I don't know if he was refused or he was coming to heaven, but he was telling you that the earth is too dirty. Let's don't go. Let's just stay in the sky. And you yeah. said, and you said, no, I have to go back. And then you went back into your body and then you woke up. Yes, yes. I made it simple, but I just was trying to make sure that we yeah. got everything. Yeah, that, that, that's right. So after that NDE, did you, how did but you? Before, before, maybe something I forgot. Okay, what did you forget? What, what I forgot is when I came back, I saw this physical body. I saw the physical body of you, mine. So Why you, it was lying at the hospital bed. Hmm. Now, looking at the body, could not just desire to re-enter the body again. It was very, very dirty. Right. Yes. But because I was, I was instructed that I will live in heaven, after I know what to do on planet Earth, then I decided to enter my body, though it was very, 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 very dirty. So when you got back to the hospital, before you re-entered your body, you saw it laying there. It looked very, very dirty. You didn't want to, but since Jesus instructed you to enter your body, you decided to go ahead and do so. Yeah, uh, because I have these instructions from Jesus that when I will know what to do on this planet Earth, I go and leave it to heaven. Uh, that's the, the time I decided now to enter my body. So I could not just enter. Personally, I could not have this desire to enter my body. I couldn't. No one can desire and prefer to enter the body when you have departed from it. Mm -hmm. 
you didn't want to, but you decided to go ahead to. Once you leave the body, you don't want to go back, but you decided to go ahead and go back. Is that correct? I, I, I decided to go and enter the body, even though I have seen the body as dirty, as something I cannot imagine. But because of the promise and instructions from Jesus, so I decided to enter the body. Mm. Then after doing what he had told me. Let me ask you this. That why? I should know when I come back, I go back just to leave you. Okay? Why did Jesus want you to return? He Did he sit, think that you had something still that you needed to do or or what? Yes, it is very clear. He was very clear. You need to go on the earth and you will know what to do. Mm -hmm. And after finishing it, you will have to return here and live in heaven as you have come. Right. So this is what I'm, stri I'm striving now even to do when I'm here. I always think about it. I say, God, in my prayers, keep me in what you want to do here mm. so that I can just go and live with you as you have promised me when I met you. That's my prayer. Right. That's the prayer I have also for you, for everyone who is here on this planet you have to know exactly what to do for the kingdom of God so that we will all go and live in heaven. Heaven is real. Heaven is there. Since you came back, what are you supposed to do? What is your job or, or uh, what is, you know, what do you think you're, you should be doing on the earth? Uh, thank you for the question. This is exactly what I was asking Jesus in my prayer. He told me to come back. That I should know what to do and do it after I come, I will come to you. What shall I do? Like the Apostle Paul in, uh, in the book of the Acts chapter 9, he asked when he was just going to the Lord, the Lord of Damascus, he says, who are you and what do, what do you want me to do? That was my question too. One, one night in a dream, I say, I saw a hand just bringing a book. A book was written in the Bible. And he told me once again, keep my word and tell others about my word to repent from their sin. That's what I have brought you back from heaven. And this is what I'm doing. How have you changed as a person since your NDE? How is your life different? Uh, my life just is very, very different. After this experience, that time, it has turned me into somebody that can just instruct and teach the reality and the truth about the reality of life here on this planet, uh, about what people need to do, even though people strive and walk around the, the places to get what, to feed their families, to feed themselves, to build the houses, to do whatever. But there is something more important, is to know the will of God and his purpose upon someone who is here and just walking in this planet. Yeah, there is a purpose of life. And the, the body is nothing. Do you have a positive message for everybody that you can share? In any moment, in any means, let everyone know about himself. There are people who don't know themselves. We need to discover ourselves. Why we are here and why, what we are supposed to do and do it well. Because afterwards, after, uh, at, in the last day, at the end of the day, I mean, there will be the compass and whatever someone does, whether publicly or privately, whatever thought that you have in your heart, whatever, whatever you do for your brother, your sister, whatever good, whatever bad, is much written, immediately written. And there will be no way to deny that you have done this. 
our God is just and the justice of God will prevail. And it is good for everyone who hears this to always try to do good to the fellow, to the children as we, we have them, and teach them the way they should go into the knowledge of God, into the knowledge of life and God's purpose on them. Dominique, thank you for that message and thank you for being my guest. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. And have a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching the Jeff Mara podcast. I really appreciate you. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. And if you do, there are loyalty badges and other perks depending on your level of membership. All you need to do is click the join button underneath the video to find out more. Thank you for your support.